Hey folks, this is Vincent and Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to review Destinies. Like the other video we recently published, this is a cozy game night review. We just spent about an hour or two playing the first mission of the actual campaign. The game comes with a standalone, like, it's its own story kind of thing, tutorial mission. And then there's like a four mission campaign. And this was the first of that. I don't want to spend too long on specifics to as to spoil the story because there's a lot of discovery in this game, a lot of like, oh, what happened? So we're going to avoid spoilers whenever possible. So what are we doing in this game? Well, you choose one of the characters available for that scenario and then you're going to set up your player board and there's three different stats. There's like intelligence, dexterity, and power. And these little tan tokens here will be going left and right, up and down this track. And whenever you're asked to make a skill check, you're gonna roll some dice. You're gonna roll some white dice all the time. And if you have any available and you wanna use them, you can use some purple dice. And you're going to add the totals of these dice. And let's say I tested for the red power here and I rolled, uh, there's a three there. Let's do that. Okay, let's say I rolled a purple die and two of the regular white dice. I would look at the total of seven, which is to here on the red track. This counts as an automatic success, okay? So that would be three successes because I passed three tan uh, equal to or less than one, two, three. And this counts as one and that would be four. Now this game is app driven, so you would tap in four successes on the app and it'll tell you what happens. So that's primarily the game. It's skill check the game. You're gonna be moving your character around the board and you're going to be visiting various points of interest and you're going to be following the app. It tells the story as you go. You're gonna be picking up items along the way. Each item has some kind of QR code that you can scan. Some uh, events might say fight the rats or fight the enemy or whatever. And instead of actually doing a check, you can just scan the weapon that you have and see if it's effective or not. So you don't know if it's gonna be effective, but you can try it anyway. You also gain gold along the way, which you can spend in places like the blacksmith over here to possibly purchase items. Items, again, can be used for their QR code during events, or you can discard them to gain something special there on the bottom of the card, and then you just discard it from the game. And you're going to be exploring this tableau as you go via a deck of these location cards. The app will tell you, you know, put tile number uh, location 47 here, or one there, whatever the case is. Again, I'm trying not to spoil too much. There are a bunch of miniatures. Uh, just, I love this. There's uh, there's miniatures for the heroes. There's miniatures for like the um, the different enemies that you might be facing. But here's a quick look at the components here. The game supports up to three players. So with that being said, oh, that's the this one's my favorite. That's your that's your favorite. The rat miniatures. The rat miniatures. <laughs> yeah. Try not to spoil too much, but oh, those. Sorry. That's okay. But if you look close enough, they are rats. Uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get into that. It's a cheeseburger. It's a cheeseburger. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. So what did you think of that? You've played it twice now. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think so far? I love this game. I love this game even more. Yeah. You love it even more. Yeah. I mean, it's a great little story driven game. I love that the app like anything you scan, the app will tell you like a little background or or like what it is or what it corresponds to story wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just it's such a fun little adventure game. Very similar. Um, to the Lords of the Ring adventure. Mm -hmm. The That's adventure the game. game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I really like this game. This story, I didn't, I wasn't too fond of because I don't like the theme of it. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I love the game. I love the gameplay. I love the little skills that you can put it up and down depending on, like, how much you fail or how much experience you get. Um, it's just, it's it's a cute uh, not cute, but it's a it's a great game. <laughs> it's it's simple to play. Like it's not hard to learn at all. Mm -hmm. um, your ultimate goal is dependent on the character you pick. Mm -hmm. um, typically, a scenario has three characters you choose between. This character, I'm not going to turn these over because this is very spoiler. Each each character has two different ways, two different destinies 
and that's what these colors are purple and yellow mm -hmm. so i was trying to complete one of my two destinies to win the game and she was trying to complete one of her two destinies to win the game and the destinies again will be different depending on the character that you pick mm -hmm. um because of that replayability in my opinion is a bit questionable um while we did not explore every location anything face down here is unexplored so you can replay scenarios but everything will be the same, but there may be places that you haven't explored yet that you may want to explore on your second playthrough. Mm -hmm. So one of my complaints with this game is nothing is randomly generated. So um, if you fail miserably like I did with this particular game, like I was just starting to get started and she beat me like that. Like she, she came out of the gate swinging she got her destiny done to trigger the end of the game. I did not complete a single task on either destiny mm -hmm. because my dice rolls were extremely poor. That's that's another complaint I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're going to be refreshing a purple die at the beginning of your turn. But typically you're going to be spending them to increase the odds of getting a lot of successes. Me, with dice, I rolled a lot of one and two success rolls. I, I rolled very poorly with my rolls. And as such, every time I went to a, a particular point of interest to do something, the game would be like, no, you failed. Here's an experience token. And you spend these experience tokens to move these tan markers further to the left to increase your chances of getting more successes in the future. Mm -hmm. But even then, even though I have this set up, I was doing like I failed a lot and I was getting a lot of pity moves with my with my tokens. I still couldn't get enough experience I couldn't get enough rolls done to do anything I needed to for my thing. Yeah. So it was it was frustrating. It was fun, but at the same time it was frustrating for me because I felt like I couldn't even play. Yeah. I, I'm not saying the game is bad, but I'm saying through bad luck it is possible to feel useless the entire game yeah even though i had items even th i didn't get to use these once i was hoping to find a door to come across to use this lock pick i was hoping to use the talisman for something mm -hmm. the one event where i was doing battle it told me the sword isn't useful here <laughs> and then it automatically ended my turn mm -hmm. i'm like seriously i couldn't even fight that was rough I, I'm like I, so so because the game said I can't use my sword here I couldn't like put the sword away and try brute force and do a check mm -hmm. like it didn't say that it just said you just automatically end your turn so like I felt like there was some really bad luck on my end to where I couldn't do anything and that's that's one of my complaints with the game if you're gonna play this game play it for the story and for the adventure and accept the fact that the game is going to screw you over in certain ways mm -hmm. and the dice are gonna screw you over in certain ways um and enjoy it um, that's why I got rid of all my items like I was just using them as much as I can because I kind of figured that items, you know, they're not really going to help you at the, in the long run. Mm -hmm. So I just used them. The one thing that really helped me out was on my very first turn, I actually got a hint about one of my destinies. Oh, okay. So I was like, okay, I got to go to this place, you know. Mm. And then from that, I played out, okay, now I got to do this. Now I got to do that. So I, I kind of had like a set path. Mm -hmm. You know, but for you, it was hard because you didn't know where to go. You didn't know. Where to I go. was I, my soldier was clueless the entire game. Yeah. I blundered from points. I just went to various points of interest, hoping that I could possibly stumble upon something for my destinies. But it never happened. Yeah. Um, and I still had more to explore. Like I felt useless. Um that being said, I still like this game, but what I want to do, there is a solo mode. Mm -hmm. I would replay this scenario by myself so then I can get more closure. I, I felt like I felt like I just came out of a bad relationship and need closure. Yeah. I feel like replaying this game in solo mode will give me that closure. You know is what I mean? Is there a time limit? There is no, there, as far as I know. Well, in solo mode, if there's no so, no time limit in solo mode, that, you can take your time. That's what I mean. That's what, that, that's what the solo mode is going to do. It would allow you to go around the board, explore everything to your heart's content. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to do that because there were 
things I wanted to see. I don't know what this is. I want to know what this is. What I, I failed this one point of interest like twice. I want to know what, what is there. Yeah. I want to know what's there. Rather than play the scenario again with you and, and end up with the same result, I feel like to get the full story, I feel like I need to replay it solo. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind playing solo either. I want to I wanna know everything. I want to like click yeah. on every single thing. Mm -hmm. It's like reading those um, choose your own adventure books, but like reading it from left to right like like just all the pages in order well see i cheated <laughs> i would put my finger on the page where i came from that's true read that page and then come back to it and pick yeah. the other thing to see what would happen instead <laughs> yeah i cheated kind of, yeah. but you know i was a kid what did i know that's fine i did the same thing <laughs> yeah so like I, I like don't get me wrong i like this game but again this this also like it's back to the whole replayability thing yeah um now that i know the story and the scenario I'm less inclined to replay it with other people because, like, I feel like now, A, I have a leg up on someone that's never played this scenario before, mm -hmm. and B, like, is even still, like, I feel like part of the game is now spoiled for me. Well, I, I want a fresh story now. Well, the thing is, though, is that there's other campaigns, right? There's by three the others. There's... By the time you get around to playing this one, you're going to probably forget Plus, there's other well, games to play. You will not. You have an eidetic memory. No, no. She remembers and, things I did wrong from five years no. ago. <laughs> and you get to pick. No, that's not true. And <laughs> you, you're going to pick a different character, possibly, you know, which will have different. Yes. Uh, the other character for this scenario was the nun. Yeah. So she's she may have a different set of things that I, sh you know, that might be easier to do. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like I, I like this game. I still recommend it. My concern is that the core game comes with again that one standalone tutorial scenario and four missions that are one complete story. Mm -hmm. So mission two of this coming up is a is a follow up to this yeah. in some way, supposedly. Like the the standalone mission, I have no idea. Like I don't remember that. Mm. I know there was like a you house. won that one too. Did you, I? Dice are a lot nicer to you than they are to me. Well, I love dice. Yeah. I love them back. So yeah, exactly. Although towards the end of this game, my dice were really bad. Like I was rolling pretty bad. You had one or two bad rolls, and you saw me continuously roll zero or one successes. Like I'm just saying, like. Yeah. I, I, I again this is this is I think because your numbers were all the way up, right? Like you only had like well, I was trying to put them all like in this area. I was trying to guarantee one or two successes without purple dice, but maybe I should have moved these other ones to the left more to try and get more successes out of an event. Yeah, there's a whole probability strategy I think yeah. behind this too, because I wasn't even trying to go in the first uh three three columns. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to get everything on the second column because that's the probability. I don't know. Yeah. I was trying to do that. You're trying to math thing. it. I yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. But it, it's it was tough, but it was really fun. I, I enjoyed this game. I like exploring. I would, probably would have explored more, but we would have been here all night. <laughs> yeah, the game took about an hour to... It set up was fairly easy. Um, clean up, not so much. There's, an, there's a stack of item cards, and the game will ask you, pull out card number or whatever. So you have to, like... It, well, if you're OCD like me, you're going to put the six back in where the sixes are and so on. So there's a bit of cleanup involved there. Um, and, and putting everything in numeric order, these are all the different territory tiles that you're going to be exploring throughout the game as well um i despite the rng meaning like the randomly number generated crappy dice rolls mm -hmm. despite that i love this game yeah i love the storytelling my concern is that five scenarios may not be enough because, uh, again, there are expansions I could buy, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like if, if this had randomly generated missions or something, I would say then this game would uh, its value would be increased tenfold. So all of these are exactly the same? Like, exactly, exactly? Like, all these destinations? Yes. Yeah, so when if we yeah. were to replay this mission, these points of interest will always be here. Really? These tiles will always be here in the same order. Oh, I didn't know. So, so, yeah, so, so this, what you're seeing here is going to be the same layout for oh, the, if we were to replay this. That's unfortunate. Oh, I can see now how it connects. 
and stuff like in the tiles oh but that's unfortunate that's what i mean like so i'm less inclined to replay this with other people because now i'm sp I, there's some spoilers here yeah you know what i mean i'll still play with other people because i wouldn't know i wouldn't remember oh but... please you you would uh, you would go for the same goal and and crush it the same way you did no i i wouldn't remember trust mm -hmm. me <laughs> i'd probably go for like the nun just for a different destiny or something that makes sense what did you think uh, the production quality is really good these tokens are really thick they are so thick when you pass it to me i was like oh yeah i got like five of these stuck <laughs> together <laughs> yeah there's the experience tokens the gold they're both very thick mm -hmm. um these wooden ones are you know they're they're mm -hmm. they're easy to drop because of my fat fingers these dice are huge the yeah. purple dice less huge but still good average size finger <laughs> yeah yeah i guess um so yeah i mean and the the card art is decent too yeah I like them. I do. I do like this game a lot. Mm -hmm. It's it's the deep the quality detail is like really nice. The mm -hmm. art is all nice. Mm -hmm. I would recommend this to people that are looking for a an adventure but aren't too serious about it. Yeah. Because if if you're the type that easily gets frustrated due to bad dice rolls, like if you if you refuse to play D and D. Because you don't like the chance of rolling a, a, a natural one all the time and failing at everything, then this may be this may have the same issue. Again, you are given consolation prizes, those those experience tokens or whatever, and you can move these to the left to help you in the future. Mm -hmm. But even still, some some points of interest require three or four successes, meaning you have to like get these down to the left even to even try and get that three or four total that you need to complete it. Mm -hmm. So like I would recommend this game to people that uh, like an adventure but aren't aren't turned off by really bad dice rolls yeah and who aren't like that competitive because it's kind of easy to see somebody you know like you i i was <laughs> i i saw where this was going mm -hmm. half an hour in i'm like i'm never gonna get i'm never gonna catch up there is no catch-up mechanic so you got your stuff done before i even knew what to do with this yeah at that point you just kind of have to enjoy the story you that's what i to... that's what i did that that's yeah. why i was bouncing around like i might as well explore everything i can while i can before you finish yeah. just to see what there is you mm -hmm. know um but yeah so i recommend this game to folks that don't mind that kind mm -hmm. of gameplay but yeah um that was destinies anything else to say before we leave um there is like a little like wait until they explore before like jumping the gun to kind of strategy. I think that there is because like I was kind of scared to go uh, this way until I saw you going this way or going that way. I don't remember, but mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to reveal tiles so that I can know where a specific building was. That you were looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I kind of use that to my advantage too. So there is that sort of strategy. On that note, she's evil. Destinies. No. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm kidding. Not at all. <laughs> that was Destinies, the board game. Again, one to three players. Uh, fairly quick setup time. But uh, yeah, it, it's a pretty good game. Uh, we enjoyed it. This is Vincent Idalee. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all next time. Take care. Bye, guys.